Hello there, this is Matthew with buildyourownblog.net and in this video I want to talk about the users section of your WordPress blog. Specifically, how you can add new users to your website and designate their roles. Once you're in your dashboard, come over here to users on the left and click all users. Now here is where you can customize your own user profile as well as add new users to your website and give them roles or change their roles. For example, this is something you would use if you had a guest writer that was going to be posting one or more articles on your blog. And it's a really convenient way to set them up so they can do that themselves so you don't have to spend the time putting their Word document into your blog. So let me show you how to add a new account for someone like a guest writer. Okay, so the first thing you would want to do is come up here and click Add New. Okay, I'm setting up my new user and I'm going to first put in their username. Their email address. and their first name and last name. And their website. And now I'm gonna go ahead and give the user a password. And if you want, you can check this box here and send this password to the new user by email. And now here's the key to this whole thing right here where it says role. What you want to do is designate this person as one of these roles. For example, if I'm giving a guest writer access to my blog so that they can post articles on the blog, I can either designate them a contributor or an author. Now if you ever need help knowing what these different user roles mean and what they can do in each one, all you have to do is come over to my blog post at buildyourownblog.net forward slash blog forward slash wordpress dash blog dash post. And you'll find down here a list of all the different users. And what it says here is an author is someone that is creating uh, content for your blog and the author access enables a person to write copy, add photos, edit, and publish their own posts. An author cannot create, change, or delete pages or make changes to any other posts by other users. Now a contributor can write and edit their own posts, but they're not able to publish them. So if you don't want somebody to go ahead and publish it themselves, but put the article in your blog, then you would want to designate them as a contributor. So if you need any help, once again, come to this uh, blog post. It has a ton of different information on WordPress and this includes the user information as well. Okay, so we're back here to add a new user and we want to finish this by designating their role and we'll go ahead and make them an author and then we want to click add new user. So what I've done in this example is I've added a new author to my blog named Caitlin Velicities and now Caitlin can sign in using her username or her password and I went ahead and emailed her her password by checking that little box that you saw previously. Something you can do is click on your user at any time, a different user, and you can see all of their information here and they'll have access to their user profile as well. So if you want them to add a biographical paragraph about themselves, they can. If you want to add a photo of them, you can do that. And if you ever need to change the password for some reason, you can do that as well for each individual user. And now Caitlin is ready to write articles for this blog. 
And it's really simple. Anytime, for whatever reason, you need to no longer have somebody as a user on your blog, all you have to do is click delete. Once you click delete, you get a choice here of what should be done with the content owned by this user. You can either check delete all content or you can click attribute all content to and then you can attribute it to yourself. But you would still need to make the necessary changes in the content itself that you needed to. And then you want to just click confirm deletion. And that's it. If you found this video helpful and you would like additional quick video tutorials on using WordPress, visit my website buildyourownblog.net. Thanks and I'll see you again soon.